some of our peers on the other side have expressed their ambitions for your future. I salute you and I look ahead to 2016, wishing you much success and extending to you my highest regards. <laughs> Madam Secretary, uh, first, let me uh, thank you for your service. Uh, and I wish you the best in your future uh, endeavors, mostly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a love fest up there. A lot of speculation over Secretary Clinton's future, even during that hearing over Benghazi. We'll get to that coming up. Our roundtable is here. George Will, editor-in-chief and publisher of The New Republic and Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes, Democratic strategist Donna Brazil. Arizona Republican Congressman David Schweikert and the host of NPR's Morning Edition, Steve Inskeep. Welcome, everyone. And I want to start with you, George Will, on what you've just heard John McCain talking about, saying, I'm going to give you some straight talk. A path to citizenship has to be included in this. It does, and I'll tell you why. The interesting thing, Martha, is that this debate is coming to a rolling boil at a moment when, for almost two years now, net immigration from the south of the United States is approximately zero. We've sort of solved the problem. You want to stop immigration, have a huge recession. That'll take care of it. Second, what no one can say who's involved in the process, but what the rest of us have to say over and over again, is the 11 million undocumented immigrants are not going home. The American people would not tolerate the police measures necessary to extract from our community. A significant portion of them have been here 10 years or more. The five million have had children. Those five million children are American citizens. I did the arithmetic. In order to deport 11 million people would require a line of buses, bumper to bumper, from San Diego to Alaska. It's not going to happen. Therefore, the question is, how do you get to citizenship? Congressman Schweikert, I have a feeling you have something to say on this. Well, you know, and actually being from one being of those from border Arizona, states. Where, where uh, John McCain is from. And, and Senator McCain actually touched on this. If you go to the southern part of my state, I have people who actually live in fear for what's going through literally the back of their, their house, their property. So the devil's ultimately in the details. Um, what will happen to the populations today, but what will happen to our border security for those of us who are border states? What will happen in the visa system? Will we actually have a visa system that works, that, that tracks those who've overstayed? And then what does the future look like? Um, Intel just puts a, up a six billion dollar plant in my community and we're having trouble finding enough electrical engineers for them. Will we move to like Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand with a point system so we can bring in the greatest talent from around the world that will help grow our economy? Tell me if I'm wrong though, Congressman, because it seems to me that a couple of years ago the question was if there was going to be reform or some kind of change. It seems to me now that the question is what form it will take. And when I talk with people in, uh, in your party's leadership in the House, which might be the biggest obstacle, they're making moves and subtle oh, yeah. moves to prepare for this, putting people on the right committees to make sure that they're ready to move some kind of legislation. Yeah, and I guess maybe having been in my state legislature 20 years ago, we were talking about it back then. Right. And, and a lot of it was always... But as John McCain also pointed out, things have changed. There was, a, there was this election, so this does yeah, seem well, to be the time that... That Pres also introduces the question of President Obama's capacity to lead on this. And, you know, we'll see with this speech in Las Vegas on Tuesday. But I think a big structural question for his second term is his ability to, uh, to, to put forth an argument that uh, inspires the American people, but also challenges a lot of the people who may want to block uh, his, his agenda in Congress. And there's a structural question there. Which, uh, which, I, which I think is, is, uh, is open. You know, when the president met with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus on Friday, he made it very clear that uh, the time was right to, to move this legislation forward. You, you have a bipartisan group of senators and, that are working on these uh, so-called principles, the pillars of what this comprehensive immigration reform will look like. But already we've seen under this president uh, strict border uh, patrol. Uh, but the path to citizenship has been a thorn in, in, in everyone's side in terms of how do we get there. I do believe that after this speech this week and what we see on Capitol Hill that this, this, this legislation might move very quickly within the next two months. I, I just want to very quickly touch on Benghazi. It's been going on for months. There have been hearings. There have been these accountability review boards. George, do you think it's over? I know Jay Carney this week said he thought the GOP was obsessed with Benghazi. No, I think the subjects had the juice wrung out of it by saturation mm. journalism and probably won't go on. Uh, Mrs. Clinton played the standard Washington card of 
saying, I take full responsibility, which means no more questions, please. That we've settled responsibility and that's all that's supposed to matter. And then you say she was buried under a tide of 1.4 million cables, so she wasn't really responsible. So it's a classic dusty answer from Washington. Steve, you, you being the other member of the media here, <laughs> is it over? Well, I don't know. Secretary Clinton raised this question, what difference does it make, the controversy that Republicans are raising? It's been suggested that that may become fodder for campaign commercials should she run for president in 2016. But it is an interesting question. It is in some ways a fair question because the obsession is focused most publicly over what was said in uh, Sunday talk on shows. Sunday talk no show, one cares exactly. what's said on Sunday talk shows. Martha, you know very yeah, well. Tell yeah, us. come on. I mean, there, there, there are serious questions about the lack of security before. There are serious questions to answer here, but whether they can capture the public's imagination is another question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks. Obsessed We're going to talking points. Obsessed with talking points. Yeah. There was a little obsession about the talking points.